Hi everyone, it's Matt from the Edu Crew again, and in today's tutorial we'll show you how to set up Minecraft EDU on your computer for the first time. We will also discuss the difference between the client program and the server tool program. And we'll also show you what the Minecraft EDU launcher is all about. Okay, first thing you're going to do is find the file that you downloaded from the Minecraft EDU site right here as we saw in tutorial number one and click to open that up. You'll see this GUI. A GUI is a graphical user interface, basically a window, and you can select your language if it's not going to be English, and then hit continue. Okay, you'll see the normal installation procedures, disclaimers, things like that, and you'll hit continue from there. Okay, here's your license agreement. Make sure you accept that or you're not going any further. And here is a very important part of your installation. This is where you select the components to install. You are, of course, going to install the Minecraft EDU launcher, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. One thing you need to decide is, in this installation, are you going to install the server tool with the installation, or are you going to skip that portion of the installation? Now, that brings us to the difference between a client installation and a server tool installation. Now, normally for your students, you're going to install only the client. So in that case, you're going to leave this unchecked. You don't want the students to have access to a server tool, or they'll be setting up their own servers when you don't really need them to or want them to. If you're installing this for the first time on your teacher computer or somewhere else that you are the only person having access to or, or other people who are going to be able to run servers, um, have access to, then you're going to want to check that box. So that way the server tool gets downloaded as well. The next thing you want to do is select the location that you want to download to. This is the default location and your name or your username will be here instead of Matt like my name. Um, and this is generally fine for most people. You may need to select a different place to put that into. Um, but that's going to be totally up to you. So if you do need to change that, just hit the Select Location button and you can change the folder and such to where you want to, that to be. Alright, when you're ready, hit Continue. Okay, so you see that the file is unzipping and loading things onto your computer at this point. And then it says Installation Finished. It doesn't take very long at all. So at that point you're going to hit Continue and you'll get to the finished screen which gives you some options for what to do next. You can just close and come back to it later. You can close the installer but open the launcher which is what we're probably going to do and what you'll probably want to do just to get going right away. And these other things are uh, links to changes that have happened recently or a getting started page on the wiki. Um, you're very welcome to go look at those because that does contain a lot of helpful information as well. So I'm going to next click close the installer and open the launcher. Okay, and now you've reached the Minecraft EDU launcher and here you see you have four buttons. Now we'll go over those buttons and some of the other menus you have access to from here in our next tutorial. 